Shalom, this is GMS on Let's Sit Downs coming back with a lesson. First off and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and the highest honor to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai Bashem Rukakadash, the bonds to the elder apostle of Great Millstone, peace and salutations to the elect that spread across the world, pushing his word in truth and in sincerity. Okay, what I want to talk about today, what kind of lesson is going to be today, you know, in this early morning, is. Uh, it's gonna be a quick cut because as we speak, there are still certain Israelite groups that claim that you need to be baptized in order to walk before Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. You know, whether they use the name Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, that's also questionable. But the thing is, they know that they are Hebrew Israelites, but they claim that you need to be baptized physically like dumped under the water now i do want to uh go into depth uh yara tessa in the up and coming days you know uh, maybe a rotterdam in class if the brothers have time you know to visit my house and really go into depth on the baptism you know why we don't have to baptize no more physically you know in water but from the standpoint that brothers already kind of know, you know, uh, that, that that's not the case, that we don't have to physically baptize with water no more. From that standpoint, I will pull this scripture to add to your arsenal, basically, so you can, uh, so you can prove, like, listen, we are not sent to baptize, man, physically with water. We are sent to preach the word. And when the Holy Spirit, you know, hits you, that's when you get baptized, man. So like I said, this is going to be a quick cut video. Starting off with the verse that I intended to bring out, you know, uh, as a cut. It's uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 1. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse uh, 13. Is Yahushai divided? Was Paul crucified for you? Or were you baptized in the name of Paul? I think I thank Yahweh that I baptized none of you but Crispus and Gaius. Okay? Now you, you did have uh, disciples who la later became apostles, of course, that did baptize certain people on request. Okay? Because those people, they came up under John the Baptist. They saw you know, the spirit that was up upon John the Baptist. With John the Baptist, he uh, he um, basically uh, was the prelude or uh, the physical, um, how you say it? He did the physical act of what Yahweh Shah was going to do through the spirit, man. What he did was, uh, was a, 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 a ritual, you know, to represent the thing that the Lord was gonna come to do uh, 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 in the spirit, man. Okay, so he cleansed the people physically in the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, you know, by by um, baptizing them with water, which represents taking away the filth. Now, how is your filth really taken away? Not through water, man. Not through water. If you are filthy from the inside, that water is still not gonna be able to take away the filth, meaning your sins. Okay, your wickedness. Okay, your your carnal mind. It's not able to take that away. But what it represented was that John the Baptist, like the scripture says in Mark, he prepared the way. He prepared the way, man. So what what did he do? He he dipped you in water, you know, to as a ritual. Like this is what's about to happen. When the Lord Yahweh Shai comes on the scene, whose shoot, who shoes I'm not able to bear. You see, that's that's the words of John the Baptist himself. I'm not allowed to bear the shoes of the Lord because he's greater than me. And that comes from a man who in the reincarnation is, is uh, Elijah the prophet, man. Which the word Elijah means Allah, uh, Allah Yahweh, which is power like the Most High. Power of the Most High. You see? The greatest prophet ever lived, man. So, yes, you did have certain disciples that baptized people, 
on request you know because they wanted to come in that spirit man they wanted to come in that same in that same lot like like uh, um, in that same um, how you call that in those st same steps okay you're doing your thing John the Baptist came on the scene uh, John the Baptist came on the scene they got physically cleansed then they believe in the spirit and power of your Hashem and they get spiritually cleansed because your sins are forgiven if you believe in your Hashem Yahushai. As long as you believe in your believe in your Hashem Yahushai, we are under grace. Then you are without sin. Okay, even though you do sin, like it says in, um, I believe, First uh, John chapter three. Okay, the first couple of verses. So, Apostle Paul. What he saw was like people started to trip about um, uh, who they are under, man. Now you can't compare that with, with nowadays because those men were under the same doctrine. It would say like, um, it would be a discussion like, uh, let's say we over here in GMS Holland, GMS Germany, GMS uh, England. Let's say we are under uh, Apostle Rheinland and they have... Um, um, GMS Italy, GMS Finland, GMS Ireland, they are under uh, Apostle Rukar. And then you have GMS Suriname, GMS uh, Guyana, uh, GMS uh, Jamaica, they are under uh, Apostle Gabar. And then the brothers in America are under Apostle, uh, Aran uh, Slaki, Apostle Tahar. Okay? Now, if we start to have discussions amongst each other, talking about, yeah, I'm under Apostle Rukar. And yeah, I'm on the Apostle Rhyme Lab, it's way better. Meanwhile, it's the same, it's the same word. It's the same doctrine. Okay? That's why the scripture speaks about coming to the unity of mind under the same doctrine. Not the unity of mind under different doctrines, man. You see? That was the whole spirit behind it, man. Of, of these people. So the Apostle Paul, he confronted them. You know, the, the, the brothers in uh, Corinth, that is. He confronted them with the fact like listen man y'all tripping and that's why i'm happy that i baptized none of you cats man because why he said i thank the most high that i baptized none of you but crispus and gaius lest any should say that i baptized in my own name like you are baptized in the name of paul no nah, man in the name of yahabashim yahushai you baptized you know physically you know, as a as a ceremony for for the up and coming uh, 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 years that you are gonna, gonna come into the spirit of truth, man. Which the, if the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you are baptized, man. You don't need no physical baptism like water, and it's gonna be made clear him. Okay, verse sixteen. And I baptized also the house of Stephanus. Besides, I know not whether I baptized any other. But now comes the point, for Yahweh Shai sent me not to baptize. Yahweh Shai has not sent the Apostle Paul to baptize. He hasn't sent any Apostle to baptize. Okay? What did the Lord say? Go out and baptize in my name. You know, by putting on the Holy Spirit, man. That's what the Lord Yahweh Shai said. By preaching the word. And it's going to say, for Yahweh Shai sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel, not with wisdom of words, lest the cross of Yahweh Shai should be made of none effect. And what does he mean with not with wisdom of words? Meaning like the understanding that he has himself. No, but through the through the redemption that we have uh, through Yahweh Shai, man. The redemption that we have through Yahweh Shai, that is the that is the baptism. Okay? You know, believe, you believing in that may, uh, 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 is gonna is gonna cleanse you, man. Like it says in Philipp, uh, uh, not Philippians, Slakia, Psalms. I believe 119. Uh, yeah. Psalms 119 verse uh, 9 wherewith, sh wherewith all shall a young man cleanse his way By taking heed uh, thereto, uh, By taking heed thereto according to thy word 
a young man is going to be able to cleanse himself by taking heed to the word of Yahweh Shemir Shai. Okay? Then here, Acts chapter 1, verse 5. For John truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit, not many days, uh, days hence. Like I said, some people wanted to follow into that order, man, of being baptized by John, uh, John the Baptist first, or like the same manner of John the Baptist first, and then, you know, come into the same, you know, order as the other people came that, uh, that uh, were under John the Baptist first. You see, because you had disciples of John the Baptist who later came to the Lord Jehovah Shai and, and, and followed him. Eh? Let me see, where is that? Yeah, I believe in the book of John. So it's all about that order. But like the Apostle Paul says, I'm not, I'm not sent to baptize people. I'm not sent to baptize people. I, I'm sent to preach the word of Yahweh Hashem Shai and to bring a uh, bit people to the marriage and, uh, you know, that... To, to explain them that they have a forgiveness of sins through the name of Yahweh Barsham Yahweh Shai. Okay, now I believe it's somewhere here. Um, I don't know if I'm able to find it right now. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to find it right now. It's gonna be too too much of a. But I know it's in uh, in chapter two or three. You know, the, uh, let me just roughly paraphrase it. Uh, disciples of the apostle, uh, just like a disciples of uh, John the Baptist, they came to Yahweh Shai to ask him uh, whether he is uh, uh, the Lord, whether he is the Messiah. And he explained them, and they believed, and they followed him. Okay, so they came in a certain order, first on the John the Baptist and then through to Yahweh Shai. You know, so that was a favorable order to come into this truth, to walk into the ways of Yahweh Shem Yahushai by being baptized first, baptized first, and then in the spirit, man. So first in the flesh and then in the spirit. Okay? But my point is, Apostle Paul already explained, like, listen, man, there is no commandment to go out there and baptize uh, baptize you physically man the Lord says ye shall be baptized through the Holy Spirit man by the Holy Spirit which is the wisdom knowledge and understanding if you hear this word and you cling on to it you are baptized man okay you are baptized because now through your belief in the Lord Jehovah Shai you are cleansed man because you believe in the words because he comes in the volume of the book right let me grab John 15. John chapter 15, verse. Let me let me start at one. I am the true vine, and my father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he take it away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purged it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Okay? So through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai, you will be purged, man. But if you uh, if you are being purged. You are uh, being uh, um, motivated to grow. Like, for example, with a plant. If you take care of that plant, you are purging that plant, man. You are cleansing it, like it says, to cleanse of, of filth and impurity. To prune trees and vines from useless roots. You see, you will, be, you will be purged, man. You will be made perfect. That you are able to grow better. From guilt to ex uh, ex expiate. 
okay so to prune pruning goes into taking away small uh, small uh, unprofitable roots you know that you are able to grow more so for example for example mr miyagi right he be he be um he be trimming his um his uh, bonsai tree okay that's that's uh, that's pruning man and purging making it better so if you if you stay in the lord jahawah shai you will be made better man day by day okay day by day you will learn how to walk in the ways of yahabah shim Shai. you know and that all goes through the spirit man Verse three, now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. You see? So the word. So the word. So the word is what makes you clean. Okay? The word is what cleanses you. So with that, I want to give all praises, glory, and the highest honor to Yahweh, Basham Yahshai, Basham Rakadash, Shalom to the elect.